Can you kindly share your success story from uh, running a family-owned business to now, you know, being uh, the most expensive enabler trainer in Pakistan and being a successful Amazon seller? Okay, my journey from a family business to being uh, one of the most expensive Amazon trainers and one of the most uh, successful Amazon sellers is quite interesting. I started my first business back in 2012. Uh, it was a family concern and it was related to automotive. After completion of my software engineering from Ireland, I came back to Pakistan and I started my own business because I always uh, wanted to do business rather than work for someone else. And that's what my father wanted. But there was a time when I thought uh, it's not my cup of tea because uh, it was not, uh, there was no expansion anymore in there due to, due to certain reasons. And the other part was that I had to go there from 9 to 6 or 9 to 5 even though it was my own thing. So I wanted something which I could do as a financial freedom. I could be anywhere and my business is running. I wanted that sort of model. I started with a website of my own in Pakistan. I thought that I can, I can run that website and I can, I can do e-commerce on my own website in Pakistan. And that didn't work fine for me at that time. And then I went for eBay. I started selling on eBay UK and USA. In that business, I had to ship my products from Pakistan to UK and US and European market and US market. After a few months, I saw that uh, eventually I'm not getting really good profits due to the returns I'm getting from eBay. So then I came across Amazon. And at that time in 2018 mid, uh, there was no one uh, offering Amazon services or trainings in Pakistan other than Enablers. I came across that name, uh, that company, uh, Enablers Pakistan, and I got uh, Amazon training from them. And after a few months time, I started my own product, my first product, I launched it in US market. And to my surprise, there were so many uh, units sold the first day, I still remember it was 55 units and uh, I, was, I was really happy for that. After a few uh, days, like uh, 30 to 40 days, uh, there was a time I still remember that there was only two units which were sold. So I was really shocked and I was really worried what happened. And uh, eventually I concluded that I didn't choose the right product. I chose the wrong product which was seasonal. It was a back to school product. And I lost almost 3.5 million PKR in that product. Now there were, there were two to three options for me, either to do another product in another market and just um, get rid of that inventory which I had on Amazon USA of that product or I shall be getting back to the first business I was doing or I shall be actually doing some other thing. So I chose the most hard one, I actually got rid of uh, 25,000 US dollar worth of inventory at that time, uh, I'm talking about three years back and uh, I chose to launch another product in a different market in UK and uh, I was not really expecting but honestly after launching the second product in four to five months time I was the best seller in that product. Since that time till now I have earned a lot of money uh, from Amazon while being in Pakistan and I'm selling in UK and now I'm selling in US as well and uh, I'm now acting as uh, one of the most expensive trainers in Pakistan for Amazon and I'm working for the same company enablers as a research and development head uh, of that company so that's how the journey is actually What is the role of e-commerce in the global market? So after the COVID hit a year and a half back, things totally got changed globally. Businesses which were on a very high scale, they actually ruined and they, they had to shut down the businesses because there was no physical movement of individuals and uh, everything was uh, collapsed and uh, everything was stuck. So e-commerce actually grew uh, instead of uh, on the downward trend, it was on the higher side and nobody earned money as much as e-commerce based businesses did. I would say that uh, after this pandemic, especially e-commerce which came up as a very big opportunity in, in global market, 
and we shall also be pursuing that opportunity and that's what we are doing. So my question is, what will be Pakistan's role in future e-commerce and around these COVID situations? Nobody knows that Pakistan is on the fourth number in providing virtual assistant services in the world in e-commerce, especially to Amazon services. It is a very big opportunity for Pakistanis now to get into this business, to adapt themselves. And you actually have to see where you fit in. The basic problem is, for us being Pakistanis, we, we don't know the exact place we should be in. For example, if you have enough money and you, you're going to an e-commerce model like Amazon, then you shall be choosing the right model for Amazon selling. For example, if you have good money, you shall be going for a private label business in Amazon. You shall be building your own brand on Amazon. If you don't have enough money, but you have money like 500,000 to 1 million PKR, then you can start with wholesale business on Amazon in any market in UK, in US, in UAE. We as individuals, we have to see where we fit in. We fit in as a private label seller, we fit in as a wholesale seller, we fit in as a virtual assistant who only provide the services and they do not have to invest a single penny in it. I have very good hopes for Pakistan to be a big part of this journey of e-commerce in future. Yes, sir, so usually it is, you know, it is said that it can take generations, several years for uh, to see the real success of a business. But do you think that now the times are changing because of e-commerce in the market? Or uh, do you think that now it is much more quicker to see that success or failure in a short period of time? Yes, that's, uh, that's very true. You have to wait for generations even uh, to see if you are a successful business or you are a failure. But these days, things have gone totally changed. Things are really quick now. Uh, you can easily see if you are a failure in a couple of months or maximum in a year time. Uh, you can take my example as I told you in, in the previous question that uh, I lost uh, around 3.5 million PKR in my first product in just three months time. That's the beauty of e-commerce I would say. It's a, it's, a, it's a quick decision making business. It's not like other orthodox uh, way of doing business. It's totally new pattern where you have to take quick decisions and they provide you the results quickly as well. I'm now enabling other students of mine and uh, my uh, people associated to, with me. I'm actually enabling them to be uh, the same success story as I am. I would also like to give my message to whoever listening to me right now that please be a part of this opportunity, this e-commerce thing. It's not just Amazon, it's not just eBay, it's not just Walmart, it's not just Wayfair, it's not just any 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 platform you know, it can be anything you came across. All you need is to understand that you can sell your thing online and you need to explore that product you are going to sell. And you just need to see that is that product being sold in that market or not. That's as simple as ABC. If I can do that sitting in front of you in 2018 mid, I started this Amazon journey. And it's 2021 now and I am sitting in front of you telling about my success story. So why, why couldn't you be the one? Sky's the limit if, if you want to do it yourself. So uh, that's the message I wanted to give that please do not lose this opportunity. Do it today and start today in any capacity you can. Thank you. When I started Amazon selling, I was 19 years old. Now I am 21, almost 21 years old. When I started Amazon journey, I always had a fear of losing money because e-commerce is a new field. I uh, Amazon ke baare mein pehli dafa suna hi do saal pehle tha. Warna mujhe nahi pata tha ki Amazon ek e-commerce website hai. Jab maine ye idea apne ghar walon ko bataya, apne father ko bataya ki isme itni investment chahiye, to uh, pehle to wo ghabra gaye. Theek hai ki aap ye kar bhi lenge. So I have explained the whole field and then they said that you are doing it and you are very passionate about it. When you have started the work, you have to end it. Now you don't have to go back to it. Then I met my mentor Sir Farooq and I am a 101 student. From the product hunting to the launching and ranking it to the first page, Sir Farooq has always helped me. I am now a successful Amazon seller. 
और अब नाउ आई एम यू नो एक्सपेंडिंग माई प्रोडक्ट लाइन इन यू के एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया आई एम करेंटली सक्सेसफुली सेलिंग इन एमेजोन यू